Hey guys, this is uh, Louisiana Snake ID, YouTube LA Snake Boys. Going to do a little test here. You get people ask us all the time what keeps snakes away, and I see people always respond, mothballs. Snakes won't cross mothballs. I know it's not going to work, but I wanted to show a video to prove it, okay? Snakes don't smell the same way other animals smell. They taste with their tongue, and the only thing mothballs might would do is the scent would maybe draw away rodents, possibly. They're not gonna create a barrier to keep snakes away like people swear they do. And not only that, mothballs are actually very toxic to the environment. They leach into the groundwater, which can affect minnows and frogs, um, that cats and, and raccoons and all kinds of other animals eat. It's just not good for the environment, and it doesn't work. So I'm gonna prove it to you real quick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this. This is a juvenile cotton mouth. Um, it's still got a bright uh, green tip on the bottom of its tail. We just caught him back here behind our house. And what I'm going to do, you'll see, I made a row, a circle of mothballs. In theory, if they work, he's just going to sit in the middle and he's going to be too scared to do anything because the scent is overpowering. Trust me, it smells horrible right now. Um, so I'm going to take him real quick. I'm going to set him in here. No tricks here. I'm going to put him right in the middle and see if he stays in the circle. I'm going to move just so he senses me. Let's see what he does. Oh, right over the mothballs. That's not me trying to scare him. I just want to make sure he moves because sometimes snakes will just hang out if the sun's out. Um, again, this is a venomous cottonmouth. It's a juvenile. Um, these are the one of the venomous snakes in Louisiana. You can see the bright green tip on the tail collar. Can you get in there and zoom in on it or no? It's hard to see in the video. I'm not holding him tight, so he's still getting through my, uh, my tongs right there. Sorry, buddy. And again, we'll put him right back in there and see what he does. Right on top of a mothball. He's not even going in between them. Now he's in between them, but he went right over the top. He's flicking his tongue, which is how they taste the air. And it didn't bother him at all. One more time, just to prove it. And I'll put him right by the... Here's your mothballs right here. And we have another snake we're going to put in a second, but we'll do this one one more time and kind of leave him be. But um, he's tasting the air right now. So what he's doing with his tongue, okay? So when he's doing that, I'm just going to kind of create some motion. I don't want to... I'm not trying to tap him in any direction. I'm just trying to make him move. <laughs> And he's not stopped by this magical barrier of mothballs that they all claim they do. Um, so I'm going to get another snake, and we'll be right back in a second. Hey. And all right, guys, we've got another snake here. This is another cottonmouth. This one is much bigger. Um, it's got the fatter body that people will always recognize, uh, which isn't necessarily a true indicator, but this one just happens to have it. Um, we're going to do the same thing with this one. We're going to put her in. I think she's a, it's a female. It looks pregnant, to be honest. Let's grab it. I'm gonna put her in here, and we'll see if she'll stay right in the middle of it or not. And right over the mothballs. So, we'll do another test with that one. Okay, we're, out, we're looking to rattle the tail. That's a warning sign right there. She just wants to be left alone. Okay, hey, come this way, on this side. Okay, walk around this way, watch where you walk. See if you can get her mouth open whenever I'm, when I move from this way, by me. It's hard to see with the glare on this. I get it open her mouth. I mean, I want to again. It's kind of a cool shot when she open her mouth by the, uh, the mothball. Okay, what I'm gonna do it one more time. I'll put her back in there. See, look, she's almost going to the mothballs by herself. But this is again. These are the mothballs that are supposed to keep these snakes away. I'm gonna put her right in the middle. See what happens. I'm gonna do a little moving. Oh, open her mouth up. Come this way. Come this way. Come this way. You can see me. I'm gonna let her just go. Right over the mothballs. And right to the box of mothballs. <laughs> oh, back into the mothballs. See how this barrier doesn't do any good? Because like I said, snakes don't even taste the same way. They, they don't smell the same way we do. It's rattling the tail. There's a lot what they, most snakes are doing is scared. So guys, um, this is just proving that what everybody should know is that mothballs do not work at all um, at keeping snakes away. Like I said, they may help keep rodents away, but which is a source of snakes, but not all snakes eat rodents. Some eat frogs and stuff like that. These mothballs right here, if I were to leave them out, will dissolve and they'll get in the water and they'll kill animals. They just, it's just not good for the environment and they don't work for snakes. So one more time, so there's no tricks. 
the feisty cotton mouth trying to bite me. I'll put her in the mothballs. See what she does. If I'll leave her be, she'll probably hang out there for a second, but right over the mothballs. Check us out. Hey, ready, bud? Check us out on Louisiana Snake ID on Facebook. Um, can look at the back of our shirt real quick. It'll give us our con contact information. Louisiana Snake ID on Facebook. Louisiana Snake ID on Instagram. And LA Snake Boys on YouTube. We're going to have lots of videos out. Uh, we're just kind of getting started with this thing. Our goal is to educate people and to teach them about snakes. So we hope you enjoyed the video and we hope it kind of proves the point about the uh, ineffectiveness of mothballs. Thanks.